All right. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shimi Hawashai, by Shimi Chapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and rolling teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. All right, so coming back at you with another uh, quick lesson in the spirit. Lord willing, this is edifying. Um, so let me just go ahead and read Jonah 4 and 4 real quick. It says, Then said the Lord, uh, Doest thou well to be angry? All right, then said the Lord, Doest thou well to be angry? So pretty much in a sense of what he's saying here is, you know, is it right for you to be angry or how is being angry going for you right now? <laughs> so the reason I want to bring this out is because we go through our, our trials and tribulations, situations uh, throughout life all the time, you know, and it's all depending on how you deal with it, how you overcome with it, overcome it. Some brothers go through, um, you know, maybe going through deeper things than others. Um, prime reason for that is to be. <clears throat> the Lord wanted you to gain that wisdom for if any other brother following you has to go through that, you know exactly what you did or what has to be done in order to get out, uh, out of it. So in your situation, of course, with us being in this flesh, sometimes the flesh makes you have a real low point, uh, can make you super embarrassed, um, make you feel like you're just a weak ass individual. I mean, shit, in, that, in, the, in the very present moment, you very well may be someone who's extremely weak, you know, but in that moment also, you may get angry, all right? That's why I started off with this, all right? So when you're going through something, um, as, as trust me, it's, either, it's e way easier said than done. Um, when you're going through something, try to find what the Lord is trying to get you to understand instead of letting your flesh overcome you and being angry. So it says, then said the Lord, doest thou uh, well to be angry? So when you're going through what you're going through, matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Because <sighs> shit, when you go through stuff, like you'd be like, fuck. Um, but you always got to remember this classic script, uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter two and one, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right. And temptation is another word for it to be tried or tested. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Right. If you're always trying to find a way out, the Lord can keep you in a, uh, a constant, if you can say, um, limbo or what's the, I'm trying to think of the word. A loop. That's what I'm trying to say. The Lord can keep you in a loop of bad times if you're reacting opposite of what all of that says. If you didn't prepare your soul for temptation, if you didn't set your heart aright. If you didn't constantly endure, if you didn't, if you tried to make haste, try to find a quick out to getting out of the tribulation or, or like a cheat. All right. Instead of taking the straight gate, you know, the Lord will keep you in that loop until you understand and you're going to get upset in it. All right. And he's going to sit here and ask you the same thing. He asked Jonah. Is it right for you to be mad, though? All right. Because at the end of the day, the things we're going through. First off, it was meant. Second off, we all we all deserve it. Okay? The scriptures say, I shall bear the indignation of the Lord. Also here in Lamentation 3 and 42 says, we have transgressed and have rebelled. Thou hast not pardoned. So, what? Are you going to be upset? Because you're going through something that technically, you know, you put yourself in. And most of the, the hard times that we go through are off of our uh, impudent decisions that we make on a day-to-day -day basis that later come bite us in the ass, you know, but that's wisdom taking us through the crook path. So this is bringing me to this script in Ecclesiasticus, the 10th chapter, verse 18. All right. Doest thou, <laughs> doest thou well to be angry? It says, uh, pride was not made for men, nor furious anger 
for them that are born of a woman. And when I say, when I bring this lesson out, when I do this, when you're in your situation, there's nothing wrong with complaining to the Lord, but to sit there and uh, mope great and, and be mad and be in a sense selfish, that's it's wrong. You're not that. That's not what you. That's not enduring. You know, that's not setting your heart aright. All right. What you should be doing is continuing going back to the Lord and asking Him. Okay. It's hard time right now. It's getting a little tough. It's getting wearisome. It's getting down on me. But Lord, can you please open up my eye? Make me a more spiritual man to figure out what you are actually trying to tell me. So maybe I can fix that. And, and your will, if it's your will, you can lift this tribulation off of me. You know, there's, you should go about it that way, you know, and not, and not in a sense, sit in your mortal thoughts, be angry, be prideful, not, com uh, uh, not com being, not, not having good communication, um, being absent from the body or the church, not doing lessons, um, you know, not keeping up on top of your responsibilities that you have in the spirit. Uh, just because you're going through a rough time. Uh, and I'm saying rough time could be anything. You're going through it with your rib. Uh, you, you're going through it with your finances. You can't find a job, you know, or you might be going through it with your health. Um, certain infirmities are pricking you in the side. Uh, you, shit, hey. You might be going through it with a brother or two, you know, and you don't know how to hash out or solve the situation um don't get mad don't get upset you know because like it says no furious anger for them that are born of a woman but yet hey set your heart aright constantly endure and make not hasten in the time of trouble and then also understand that there you, you <laughs> we really do have a good support system um in the brotherhood understand that all right the brothers actually genuinely love one another. So when you're going through your, your things, just understand not to get angry. Because when you're angry, you're in, your mind is in a cloudy space. Um, you, you tend to, your ego tends to overtake you and you become egotistical. And then you're thinking things that are just ain't, that ain't true. All right. And then you become extremely offensive or what you could say insecure when you think everything and everyone is talking about you and it's not the case you know what i'm saying so when you're going through whatever you're going through you're in a rut you're in a low spot don't don't be angry you know figure out what the lord is trying to tell you all right and then when you're going through your ruts just understand that the work is continually has to be done you should be still be on top of your lessons as best as you can. Of course, brothers are going to have mercy on you, understanding your situation, you know, of what you're going through. Um, understand that you still got to hit the camp. You know what I'm saying? If, if you if you have camp two times a week, at least hit one of them, you know, uh, pop up, show up, you know, uh, let your communication be known in, in your respective group chats and things of that nature. You know, and and be patient, all right. Be pa be patient when you are brought to a lower state. So, I just wanted to come up with that lesson, you know, and uh, hopefully it touched, you know, Akim's spirit. I know this is me speaking off of experiences that I've been through. And shit, some experiences I've recently been through. You know, it, it, it's not good to. Just like the scriptures say in Wisdom of Solomon, uh, museth upon many thoughts or be so self-willed or not willed, but just like I said, egotistical. You just can't get over yourself. It's not good to be like that when you're going through your situations and your and your troubles. The, Lord, the, the scriptures give you exact formula of what you should be doing when you are going through something. You're going through something, you should be linking up like you ain't never linked up before in your life. Or 
You should be doing lessons like you ain't never been doing lessons before in your life. You should be reading like you ain't never read in your life. You know, you should be praying like you ain't never prayed in your life. You know, when your hell intensifies, your spirituality needs to intensify to match that and beat it. All right. So don't sit and uh, wallow in your own self pity, you could say, or. Or be angry at the fact that you're going through something. All right. Because uh, everyone's going through something. Believe that. And so the scriptures say, you know, what we go through is not uncommon to man. It's not uncommon to each one of us brothers. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. But rather ask the Lord, okay, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to show me? You know? So Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give our glory, honor, and praises to you. How about Shimmy? How about Shai? By Shem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. The ruler teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Till the next time, I want to say Shalom Woman, like always, repent for your Howard Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believed. Shalom Woman.